Hey, everybody. Tom Coleman here with a beautiful casting crew. We are live now, and it's been rocking and fun so far getting on this thing. So we're having a good time. But uh, we're here with the star of the show, Matthew Shuey one of our superstar social media people, the wonderful Christine DeGraff. Of course, we have Melanie Hall. We've got Tammy Cook. We've got Catherine Wilfong and Arizona Lowe. So we've got a bevy of beauties and a couple of old dudes here. <laughs> so, but anyway, we're going to rock the world today and, and have a good time. And uh, Matthew, I know starting out, you said that uh, there was one question out in the, one comment out in the thing that you were going to answer right off the bat. So I'm yeah, going to turn, turn it over to you, bud. Take it away. Okay. So I think this is for uh, Cheryl Loach's uh, question about the licensing yep. uh, on her images. Um, if I could pull that up really quick. Um, on her question, she was asking about um, the restrictions on the license. And um, there is a section on there for a limitation um, on impressions. That's only for print. So if you're printing more than 350,000 uh, copies of, of the image, then you need to get an extended license. And we're pretty lax with that. Um, if you're using it for a website and social media or anything that has to do with the Internet, you know, you can, you can put it on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever you want, on limited impressions. If it goes viral and you get 50 million views, I'm not going to come and hunt you down. I'm not going to come and congratulate you. I'm going to shake your hand. <laughs> Yay! So it's only it, it's only if you do it in print. So any any kind of online thing, there's no limitation on it. It's just a print. It's just a print limitation. Is that accurate? And, uh, and television broadcasting for not not for like YouTube or anything like that, but for television broadcasting. If you're you know if you're doing a TV commercial and you're using an image and it's going on a nationwide campaign like for the Super Bowl, you know we want to get an extended license. Okay. Cool. Cool, but just routine online stuff. It's 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 your goal. unlimited impressions. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Does that answer her question? If we got if we got a comment from her, she here. Okay, good deal. All right, who else has a question out there for our our the man of the hour, now, Mr. What, Matthew Shuey? Was, was that Cheryl's question? Yes. That you just answered. I was trying to find. Okay, because um she had a lot of questions. I think so. Um, <laughs> I'm only going by memory. Um, uh, Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna start read. I uh, pin it and read it. So, okay, cool. Um, it's really long. Hold on. So she said she has a few questions. A, you may, subject to any restrictions set out below in Part A or Part B of the image usage guidelines, intended maximum views does not exceed 350,000 times in the aggregate. What exactly does that mean? If I use one of your images to make a quote graphic and share it to my social site, then pin it on Pinterest and it gets shared. A, how do I know if it has been viewed 350,000 times? B, what if I only have a small personal following and do not expect the image to get so many shares? Um, is she okay because her intended views was not over 350,000? Okay, well, I, I, think he, yeah, I think he answered that. Go ahead, Matthew. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's good on that. She can, you know, she can get unlimited. And again, if it goes viral, she gets, you know, five million views or whatever. She's good. She's okay. good. I mean, there's, you don't got to worry about that. It's only, it's only for print and uh, television broadcasting. Cool, okay. cool, good deal. All right. So, who's up next? <laughs> Let's hit Matthew with some questions. I think there was another question that she had in there in regards to um, uh, images of people. Um, you know, if she does like an infographic and she uses a there's a picture of a person in there. Um, I think she meant, uh, you know, because in the license, you know, you oh, can't yeah. use those for um, for endorsing, um, you know, for endorsement. And what what that section means is, for example, I've seen some websites where they get, you know, they write up testimonials and they use stock photos of people. Um, you know that are endorsing the product and stuff like that. You can't use it for that. For the you know for stuff that's against FCC guidelines or FTC you know Federal Trade Commission guidelines. You can't use it for that. But if you're using you know a website and you need a hero shot of you know a doctor or a lawyer or you know a person that meets your demographic, 
So that's fine. You can use it for that. It's just you don't want to use it. We don't want our images being used to to endorse, you know, something as that person is, you know, endorsing a photo, like a testimonial or a review. Or hey, I have I have a question. Okay, go if ahead. People, if people just turned in, we haven't we haven't talked about what we're talking about. You know, right. uh, what's the name of the new launch that you're doing, Michael? Gen Stock something, right? Yeah, Gen Stock Photo. Um, uh, GenStockPhoto.com. Um, if you go to our homepage, there is a link on there uh, on the homepage a banner uh, that takes you to a page that's all of our free images. It's a library that we just started building, and um, we're, we're adding to it daily. I'm adding all of my photos to it. Um, you know, all my photos I'm giving away for free. Um, I, I don't really care about that. I, I just want people to be able to use images that are safe, and they can use them for whatever they like. That's pretty much what I want. Um, Tammy's helping me out with that. Saji Saju. Um, uh, Spunky Spirits, which is um, uh, one of our other photographers. A few of our photographers are contributing to that. And, um, you know, we're, we're building this free library, and it's going to continue to grow. What we have right there is just the beginning. It's going to keep growing. Okay, Matthew, let me just ask you this. What What is your overall vision for Genstock Photo? Tell us, tell us a little bit about how, how, you, how you developed it, kind of where you are now, and what's your vision for it, and what are you, where are you going to be going forward? Okay. Uh, well, my, my, my vision was, you know, me and Teresa, my wife, um, we, you know, we had this idea. You know, I purchase lots of stock photos for my clients. I'm a web developer. I do marketing and stuff like that on the side. But I'm always using the image. And I purchase stock images because I know that I, I've had clients get sued for you know, mis misusing stolen photos. So I'm thinking, you know, why not start my own stock photography website? You know, Google Plus has a, is a great resource of photographers, talented photographers, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of their images could be used for stock. So uh, me and my wife decided, you know, let's, let's put together a website. Let's get some photographers on there. Let's start building a library. Um, let's use this resource that's here. You know, there's, there's another resource, which is a lot of people, they're bloggers, they're marketers, they're designers, they're graphic artists. They can use our work. Um, I think Google Place made a really good, you know, forum for them. And so we decided to do it. It's been working. We're getting lots of photographers. We're getting lots of photos into the library. Um, I, what I want to do is I want to be able to help people out with, you know, using safe images. But at the same time, I want to help out photographers, too. You know, there's a lot of photographers on here. A lot of them... You know, a lot of them are having a hard time financially, and I want to help them um, as much as I can. I mean, it's a great resource, and um, I don't see any reason why their images can't be used for commercial purposes. Okay, tell me a little bit about what's your what's your vision for the the people using it as a free tool. So how does how does that going to work? Well, um, we have the free library. People can go in there. They can download the photos. It's real easy. You just go in there. You enter your email address. You can wait, do it. Wait a minute. Time. If 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 you say go in there, what do they? Where what what's the web address that they type in to get there? Oh, uh, go to www.gengenstockphoto.com, and from the homepage, there's a link. Uh, there's a banner that says uh, download free images. Click on that, and um, that gives you access to all of our free, our, all our free stock photos. You can choose which ones you want. Uh, enter in your email address, and it'll email you the images that you chose right off the bat. Pretty, it's a pretty simple process. Um, we try to make it as easy as easy as possible on people to download the photos. Um, there is some room for improvement, but we we are working on that. Um, uh, we, we just want people to use the images. That's all. I mean, it's pretty simple. You know, we just we just want to give away free photos. Michael, I have I have a question. I I use a, a free service every day, and uh, part of the agreement with them is um, I either have to give them credit every time I use one of their images, or I have to mention their I have to have a link to their website on my website, which I've done. Do you have something similar for that? No, no, we don't. Uh, there's no attribution. You, I mean, if, if you want to, you can. That's voluntary. Uh, but you know, we don't. You know, we're not trying to push attribution on these. 
you know, if you download the photo, it comes with a license. You have the license to use that image in just about any way that you want. So uh, we don't require attribution. Um, we don't, you know, I mean, the only thing we don't want is, you know, people saying, hey, I took this photo. And, uh, you know, what do you think about it? You know, I mean, you know we don't want any, any of that. But other than that, I mean, you can use it any way that you want. Well, are you going to? We could use it commercially. So if I want to put it on a coffee mug, I can. Uh, coffee mugs, well, if, if it's a coffee mug, if you're making coffee mugs and you're giving them away, you can do that up to 350,000 times. Oh, gotcha. If you're, selling, if you're selling coffee mugs, you would need to purchase an extended license. Gotcha. Because then that falls into the realm of printing. Right. right. Yeah. And resell and retail products and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, Michael, is there going to be any kind of are the are the uh, are they going to be uh, marked some way with the photographer's name on it so people will know to get them some publicity or how are you going to get them publicity? Uh, well, that's a good question. Um, you know, because because the stock photography license, um, you know, there's no attribution required on those. Um, you know, they we, we want people to be able to use those images in any way they want. And we want to give them the freedom to use these images in a creative way without having to get... Now, they can give us attribution if they like. That's a voluntary thing. But it's not on our license. It's not on our website. Um, when you download a photo, you know, just like when you put a live stock or get your shutter stock, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. You have a license. You can use that image in any way that you like. Okay. And uh, I think Arizona Low has a question right now. Arizona? I hate to do this to you. I'm going to play devil's advocate for a second. <laughs> Go ahead. <right> Be nice. <laughs> when you've got artists out there who are offering their photos for download for anywhere from a dollar to ten dollars a piece, which is very inexpensive, what is the advantage for the photographers to be giving it away for free on your site? Um, well, it's a promotion, of course. Um, you know. The, the, the main, the, the brunt of the, our library is premium images. So most of them are you know, available for download between one ten hundred dollars depending on the size that you purchase, depending on the quality of the, uh, of the image that you purchase. Um, the free images is there for people to use however they like. Um, we want to get people in the door. We want to get people to see our library. We want to offer some free images. The rest, you know, uh, the, I think right now we're worried about, you know, our library is growing. We're at about 3,500 3, images on the site. Right now we have about 50-something, 50 53 or 54 for free. Uh, I want to grow that a lot. You know, I want to have at least, you know, my goal is to have at least 1,000 free images on the website and, uh, and have about a million, you know, premium images on the so, so basically, what you're doing is, is like any kind of retail establishment. You're offering something for free or something to get people in the door and use things that they see, and then go on and and start looking at the different uh, uh, photographers that are in there and see some other things that they like, and then download that and get some money in their pocket. Absolutely. So it's just kind of it's just kind of a loss leader to bring people in the door. There's yes. going to be some great images. Come on in, use them, and then we've got some other things here. Some great photographers. Take a look at what they're doing, and you know if you like that better than anything that you can get in here. And I'm assuming there's going to be some dynamite free photos too. Oh, that's yeah. going to get, get, get people in the door, and and then there's going to be some even better ones and more more diversity and diversity and stuff that people can get uh, pay a little bit for. Absolutely. Taffy Cook uploaded some really awesome photos last night, and, uh, and she let us use those for, um, for free use, which is great because her photos are, are awesome. And I uploaded some of my own, and uh, Easy Elizabeth has some really spectacular photos. You know, the, the photos that we're using for free, they're not just like your, your everyday like throwaway photos. You know, they're, 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 they're well composed, they're, well, you know, they're, they're really high like quality, high resolution images. So, you know, we're not going to just, you know, uh, just, you know, garbage and garbage photos for free. We want to give away, you know, awesome photos because we want people to see the quality of imagery that we have on the website. And uh, that's that's what it's all about to me. I mean, I, I, you know, I want people to see what kind of stuff that we have. Is there a way that uh, people can request 
for you to do a photo like like say I was doing a blog and I wanted to have some uh, veteran in a wheelchair in a waiting room say that was what I was going to write about but I can't I can't go in a place and take a picture of somebody so if I put a request in do you take requests for things to be done I am we I can I put a lot of thought into that and we want to be able now now uh, part of our, our agreement with our photographers is that is that we want people to hire our photographers for photo shoot now, and our photographers are spread throughout the United States, Canada, Europe, uh, they're all over the world. And if people want something, all they have to do is put in a request. I need to set up that part. I need to set that, set that up on the website. Now, when that happens, if somebody hires one of our photographers, they make 100% commission on that photo shoot, 100%. So um, I make nothing off of that, and uh, I, I'll never change that. Um, that is something that we are going to do where people can put in a request, Get a photo shoot, hire our photographers. They can purchase those photos, and there'll be some other business logic in there that'll benefit us in the, in the long term. But for the actual job, our photographers are going to make 100% off of that that assignment. That's really neat. That's okay. a cool idea. We have Chris? some uh, some comments here. People looking at the website. Um, oh, cool. Let's yeah. work some in. Cherie oh. says uh, the site is really nice. Um. Eileen is in the audience. She said the site is gorgeous. Hey, and Eileen. Shout out. <laughs> she also, there are a couple questions. She has a question. Um, is there a way to sort by the free images only? So if you could answer that. Oh, uh, yeah. Just just click on um, just 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 click on um, on the the banner for free images or the category that's labeled as free images. Um, there'll be a button on there that says download. And anything that's in that category, everything that's in that category is free. Um, it might have a price on there, but once you click download and you choose your size and then you enter your email address, and you get the image for free. If you go outside of that category, um, the free images category, then the images will be priced mm. um, according to whatever the author chose or whatever we chose for that. Let me let me make sure I heard that right, Matthew. Uh, if so, if they go into the free area, it it may say have a price on it. But if they go ahead and and put their email address in to download, it will actually be free. Yes, yes. And it, it, it'll, there, there, there's a difference between um, our free images and our paid images. The free images it'll, it'll have a button on there that says download, and the premium images it says purchase. There's, a, there's two different things. I know it's a little weird. I'm working on, on, on ironing that out. Um, but as long as you stay in the free images section, um, there will be a link that says download, and you can download those images. Um, it'll have a price on there, but if you click on download, it'll say buy a download, and then you choose what size, enter your first name, your last name, and your email address, and submit, and it'll send the image directly to your email address. Okay, cool. Christine, you got anything else out there? That uh, I've got Catherine. She said she just arrived, so can we sh reshare the site link? And um, it's genstockphoto.com is cool. the site link. Yes. Uh, we have a not a question that's not really related to it's. Um, they really like your WordPress theme, so um, Lee wants to know. He's been looking to build a similar look, but private site. Um, do you find the WordPress theme is good to work with? Um, it's great. It's a great WordPress theme. Um, it's been customized a lot. Um, it's based off of uh, WooCommerce, um, but it's got a lot of customizations to it, and with those customizations, there's a lot of bugs. Now, we've been working on that for quite some time, but uh, it's, uh, it's, so far, it's, you know, we got it to the point where we can start selling images. Uh, we can start, you know, for example, uh, we can start selling images and Start, you know, issuing licenses to all of our stuff. Um, WordPress is a great platform to use. Um, the only thing is it's high maintenance, so you got to keep up on the updates. You got to keep up on uh, keep up on the security, and um, you, you know, there's a lot of technical issues that can happen with WordPress. So um, when you do use WordPress, um, give me a call. I can help you out. I, I'm a, I'm a full-time web developer, so um, give me a call. 
couple of shout outs. Um, Pick Monkey says uh, they're loving the good vibes. Keep on promoting us. We love that stuff. Pick <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> uh, yeah. about that today. <laughs> Phyllis, uh, looking forward to seeing Catherine and loves Tammy Cook so much and believes in her work and loves her work. And I have to say, I totally agree with that. Everybody loves Tammy, and her work is fantastic and getting better every day. Hey, Phyllis. What else we got out there? Tammy, let's get you on camera here, girl. People are shouting out for you, so. Say hey. <laughs> Tell everybody what you've been doing lately. I know you've been going well, crazy, you know traveling, been traveling all over the place. <laughs> yeah, literally, I've probably spent the last month on the road. Every day I've off, I've been going, shooting different stuff, a lot of trying to get some different kind of images for Genstock. Literally, every I've been to Biloxi. I've been downtown, I've been up in the mountains, I've been everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's all I've done for last month is shoot photos and edit them. My family's asking if they're ever going to get dinner, and I said, not in time. <laughs> not this month, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's going to be nice, Tammy, is you've still got, you've got summer, but you've got Fall coming up, and then winter coming up, and then spring coming up. So I think you're still going to be very, very busy. I know. Yeah, I'm definitely. It's my goal to be out on the road every day. I'm off shooting something different and helping to get that library built up. I feel like I'm finally in my groove right now. It's taken me a couple of months to get over there, so I want to help get that library built. You're rocking and rolling now. Cool. I am rocking and rolling. Cool. 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 Catherine, you've been awful quiet. You got a question for anybody? You want to say something to Tammy or You know, I'm Matthew just uh, or? Well, I'm just excited about uh, Genstock and the images that are coming out. And uh, I love Tammy's work. I'm a big supporter. I was excited when Matthew spent some time with me explaining how the images work because I went to a couple of other sites. And I couldn't figure it out. I honestly, I tried to download some pictures with um, one of the other sites, and I got online to talk to a customer service guy, and I said, "Well, this is what I wanted to do," and they said, "Okay, well, that's going to be a thousand dollars." And I'm like, "What? I'm just trying to write some posts. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me!" <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. And. <laughs> So, so after that, um, and I realized that I couldn't go to, um, you know, just Google and start downloading pictures and putting sayings on them because I understand how law works. <laughs> and I'm like, that's, you know, I know other people are doing it, but, yeah, I have a business and other people, you know, it's not really right to do that. So yeah, I might reshare those pictures, but I can't do it personally. So um, I was, I've always been um, kind of stuck there. So I loved Matthew taking the time to explain how the licensing works and how to use the images. And a photographer is creating art. And it's a body of work, and I understand that. And so, when uh, Genstock came out, and I was able to go grab some images and use them, and then pay for some, and really kind of you know play around with them, I was very happy. So yeah, I'm excited about this. How many <laughs> images are in your library right now, Maya? Right now, we only have about 3,500, and uh, when we started, or like when I announced this back in, I think it was uh, February, um, we had probably about 10 images. So we've, we've built a lot of photos. We don't have enough. We need, you know, my, my goal is I need, we need to get 100,000 photos. Uh, that's going to take a while. So we're building the library. I mean, you know, this is a startup. It's going to take a while. Um, but we want to, you know, we want to build some steam, gain some traction, and um, 
it's going to take a while. I, I, you know, what we're doing is, you know, we're, we're recruiting photographers, and we you know, we welcome photographers from all walks of life, all over the world. Whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you specialize in, whether it be business photos, whether it be, you know, street photography, whether it be nature photography, landscape. Whatever it is, you know, whatever it is that you like to take photos of, um, you know, we want it. We want it. I mean, you know, we, don't, we, want, we want to document everything out there. If you're a photojournalist and you go out and you, you, know, you cover stories and, you know, things that are going on in current events, we want to talk to you. We want you to come join. We want you to come in and uh, supply those photos because uh, a lot of people can uh, use those types of images. We want everything. Will will you um, keep your website as family friendly photos? Uh, well, that's a very good question. <laughs> Most of the photos are family friendly. However, um, we need to cover everything, and that means you know different lifestyles, different types of things. You know, we're not going to do full nudes. Um, you know, there is going to be images where there's going to be guys. You know, with their shirts off or wearing, you know, almost nothing. Um, we got a lot of those actually. Lots of pictures of guys, uh, shirtless guys and stuff like that. Um, very attractive looking guys. So, ladies, come check it out. We got some great looking guys. But we also have uh, uh, photos of, um, of ladies um, that are, you know, topless or wearing, you know, uh, lingerie. So, we, we will cover that. And we do have categories for that. Um, but for the most part, you know, we want to cover everything that's out there, not just um, not just one type of genre. So, I, you know, unfortunately, it's, you know, some of the images are going to be a little bit racy or controversial. Um, are you going to Are you going to have that behind something so somebody has to be 18 to get into it? Well, that's a good question. Uh, another one of the one of our contributors asked me the same thing, and. You know, we we're, we're gonna we'll have to do something with that where we put, you know, you, you have to be like a redirect. You have to be eighteen or eighteen or over to to enter. Um, but at the same time, we don't want to you know hide those from the search engines uh, because people they do come into the website from Google looking for specific photos. Um, so then you know I, I have to put more thought into that and how we're gonna approach that. Um, I can always password protect those from, from libraries, but. It just removes the visibility from Google, so yeah. I don't know. I, I have to really think hard about that. Um, I, I might, I, I'll probably have to do like a, a redirect or something like that. I don't know yet. That's okay. a good one. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, at least that's out there. So good deal. Um, who else has a has a question for Matthew right now? So what? Let me ask you this, Matthew. Who who uh, who are some of? Can you name some of the photographers that you've got on there? Or about how many that you've got on board? Or um, yeah. Um, well, Tammy Cook, of course. That's like you know one of my favorite. Um, Aaron uh, Aaron Ad. She's another. You know, most of our photographers are from Google Plus. Okay. Uh, Adam White uh, is another one. Ag White. Uh, Bjorn Kleeman is one of the most spectacular landscape photographers that we got. This guy is awesome. Alex Mendoza is great. Uh, Kristen McLeod, she's a new one. Um, she's actually from Ventura, the city that I'm from. Uh, we have Giuseppe Rodino, he's from uh, Turin, Italy. Heather Kennedy from Michigan. Um, J. Rain Chip, she's awesome. She's from down in the San Diego area. Jason Jacober. Is one of my favorite uh, favorite photographers that's on the website. Uh, Jason J. Cover is from Washington State. Um, he uh, he does have uh, images on Getty Images himself, and he does contribute with us. Um, he's one of my fa he's actually one of my favorites uh, all around. Um, uh, Jason Mayer is another from Washington State. Johanna Schmold from uh, uh, from from uh, from Canada. Kelly Richards, another one of my favorites. Lori Novak. Has a lot, she has a lot of experience uh, with stock images on Shutterstock, uh, Fine Art America. Um, she does a lot of great work. She does a lot of great travel photography. Uh, Leslie Sagala, she's a uh, street photographer from San Francisco, one of my favorites as well. Uh, I mean, they're all great. Uh, Misi Elizabeth, she's a great people photographer. She does a lot of self portraiture. She's, uh, she's very photogenic. She does a lot of great stuff. Marvin Heller's another one. Um, Mark Hall from, uh, from the UK is another one of my. He's one. He's a really creative dude. 
I love his work. Uh, Nancy Levin's another one. And then Nicholas Cardot, um, that was, he was referred over by, uh, by Christina Groff. Um, he started uh, contributing, I think he got a little bit busy. Uh, um, I just got a contact with Jay, and I want to see about you know, getting more photos. He, um, he's, uh, he's enlisted in the United States Army, and um, he's actually uh, a photographer for his unit. And um, he has some great shots that he can help him with them up there. So, you know, we want you know, uh, U.S. military shots on the coming year. Well, let let me ask this. We're coming up on the on the we're a little bit going a little bit over the hour now. So, um, one last question, unless anybody else has a bunch of questions. Um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. But any but anyway, where if if a photographer wants to get hold of you to to get his work in there, where what's the best way for them to contact you? How do they get hold of you? Um, the best thing to do to contact us is go to the homepage at www.genstockphoto.com and click on the Become a Contributor link. Um, there's a form on there that you fill out, and you can upload a couple of examples. Um, those examples are for transitory use, so we're not going to use them in any way. Um, we just want to see you know, an example of their work. They could also place a link or a couple of links to their profiles where they have their portfolios. And, and um, you know, we'll take a look at their work, and um, more than likely, we're going to accept them. You know, we, we try not to turn people away. Um, we try not to turn people away if people are uh, you know, on a novice level. Uh, on a curate basis, and we'll help them with, you know, coach them, help them with, you know, resources that get them better at what they're doing um, before they can become a full-on contributor where they can upload photos and publish images on the web. And if a customer you know, wants you know, a special request, right now they could just click on the contact us page. My telephone number is on there. My email address is on there. All they have to do is pick up the phone, give me a call, talk with me. If you want to work out a deal, come on here, whatever, whatever it is they want. They just got to give me a call, contact me. I'm very accessible. I'm accessible on Hangouts on Google Plus. I'm accessible on Facebook. I'm accessible through my website, through telephone, email. Um, it's really difficult not to get to go. Okay, cool. Good deal. Um, well, let one one last go round. If anybody else has any questions for him, and then uh, we're going to kick out of here, except for the. I game. have a question for Arizona. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So, when are you going to come join Genstock Photo? Well, I was going to tell you I'm going to join. I also will write a review for you on today's visions. <laughs> Sweet. <Thank you>. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, any other questions for anybody? For anybody having questions about anything? And Christine, do we have anybody out there that's that's asking a final question? Nope. No more questions. But um, I just wanted to say to Matthew, you know, I just think you're doing a wonderful job. I love your website. Um, keep keep going and build that library. And um, as long as you continue having great photographers like Tammy Cook on there, you're going to be very successful. There you go. There you go. Three awesome. three cheers for Tammy. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to say a quick shout out to all you guys for supporting me. I really do appreciate it, every one of you. You guys rock. My Sunshine Sisters rock. And I'm so excited. And I'm going to be kicking some photo butt. Yay! <laughs> good one. Good one. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. Wait a minute, Super. Super. All right. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Big shout out. Love, love Tammy. Love Matthew. Thank you. And uh, thanks, Christine. Thanks, Arizona. Thanks, Melanie. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. All great. right, Matthew. Great deal, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna say good night to everybody. Hope everybody had a good time. And that's basically it. So we'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to get hold of Matthew at www.genstockphoto.com and if you want free images go to the home page click on the banner that says buy download free images and start downloading those images and start using it right away all right good deal good night everybody take care